So I released this post about a week ago asking what type of videos y'all wanted to see on this channel. And a pretty large majority of you guys said that you want more redstone computer tutorials. Well, you've asked for it, and so here it is. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I'm CT5K, and today we're going to be going over the five tips I recommend to anyone starting to build a redstone computer. Redstone is amazing. You can build anything from logic gates to complex components to even IRL components. Redstone can also be terrifying at some times, especially if you're a newbie. These computers range anywhere from 102 cubic blocks to hundreds of thousands to even millions of cubic blocks. And an error as small as one block being off could cause the entire system to fail. So how on earth are we supposed to build all of this? Like, how are we supposed to build these massive, massive machines and not have them completely blow up in our faces? Well, here are five expert tips that I would recommend you learn. Before we get started, if you enjoy content like this, then do make sure to subscribe. Subscribing is completely free and you can always unsubscribe later. When it comes to creating a redstone computer, a lot of people get paralysis of analysis. They look at every single option that computational redstone has to offer and then don't build anything because they don't know what to build. So if you decide that you want to build a redstone computer, don't worry about the features or the size of the computer, just focus on building the actual computer itself. You don't have to build a hex computer if you're starting out. And in fact, if you were like brand new, like actually brand new to computational redstone, I recommend that you don't. I recommend that you learn binary first just because there are so much more content creators and so much more content and opportunity for you to learn how to build in that architecture. Whereas in this architecture, there's literally two people actively creating content for this. But whatever you do, don't overkill yourself. Giving yourself an unrealistic expectation can kill your drive to build your computer. For example, I could not have built this computer or any of my other computers if I had not started off with a very, very, very basic computer. So don't go too heavy on yourself. I would say pick two to four functions and I recommend that most of them, if not all of them, are logic gates and then start from there. Once you have your first computer working, then you can always go build another one with more functions or that's a lot smaller. If you get stuck in an area, then I recommend you that you look it up. There are plenty of videos on YouTube that cover a variety of concepts that will help and benefit you greatly. You don't have to lone wolf it and reinvent the wheel or an entire computer system completely from scratch. Now, if you are building this computer for a YouTube video or some other video for another platform, then you do have to make sure to give credit to the creator of the component you borrowed, but don't worry about borrowing someone else's design and using it in your own machine. That's why these videos are being made. Another great way to get help is to just talk to people who have already built a Redstone computer. The Redstone community is one of the most welcoming and encouraging communities in all of Minecraft, so don't be afraid to ask people for help. There are a lot of people here who love helping new people build Redstone computers just because it helps grow the community. A great place to start is my Discord. The link to that will be in the description. It's extremely welcoming and we will help you as to our best of our ability. I stated this in another video, but I'm going to elaborate on it here. Don't worry about how long it takes you to build a computer because frankly, it does not matter. It took me seven months from when I created the RPC-1 to the RPC-3. Seven months. Let me repeat that. Seven months to build three hex computers. And before that, I spent months, if not years, learning how to build a computer in Minecraft. So don't be frustrated with yourself when it's taking longer than you expected. That is normal. Because in the field of Redstone Computational, you are learning to walk. You're going to mess up. Your builds are going to fail. And you know what? Who cares? My first hex computer didn't even work right and people love it. So if you are building a Redstone computer, don't worry about the time frame. Don't worry about the size. Focus on building it and the time will follow. As you progress along your Redstone journey, you will get faster. You will learn better techniques. You will get better at making a Redstone computer. 
But right now, if you are brand new to Redstone, don't worry about it. Just build the Redstone computer and then learn from there. I hope you guys found at least one thing helpful with this video. If you did, then do make sure to leave this video a like and subscribe. If you want to learn how to make a binary computer, then I recommend you watch this series by Redstone Without Limits. It was the tutorial series that taught me how to build a Redstone computer. I probably would watch it and build it block by block, but I would definitely watch it just to learn the concepts for when you're building your own computer. If you are a more experienced redstoner and want to get into a new architecture style, then I recommend you watch my series, which will appear on the right side of your screen. It will teach you the basics to building a computer using a hex architecture instead of a binary. Anyways, that's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Now let's go change the world.